let's discuss runaways. I'm going to start off real important because I'm a shipper. (laughs) Tell me what we can expect this season with our beloved ship. This season, you know, we explore Carolina and Nico's relationship more, but what starts to happen is we got a glimpse of Dark Nico last season, and Morgan Le Fay starts bringing out more and more of this Dark Nico, and so Carolina kind of ends up in this trap where she doesn't know how far Nico was going into the dark side and if she's going to be able to get her back from the dark side or not. And Carolina obviously represents the light, uh, and Nico's going to represent the darkness, and that push and pull is really going to be at the, the center of the story this year. And then between Morgan and Carolina, it almost starts to become a battle for her heart a bit in what side that Nico is going to belong to. Oh, I can't wait to see it. Oh, I love it. Let's discuss this new character coming to Runaways. You're playing Morgan Le Fay? Yep. Morgan Le Fay, one of the most powerful sorceresses of all time. Yeah. Tell us about this incarnation of Morgan Le Fay. Well, I think it's pretty close to the comic book, how they portray Morgan. I mean, in, in our story, she finds a way to get into this world. She actually uses one of the runaways as a conduit. Um, what is it that Morgan is is trying to do? What is her motivation that, you know, might take her down this dark path? Well, she wants to take over the world. Which is reasonable. Yeah, yeah. She, wants, she wants to rule the world. Yeah. It's bringing a whole new genre to the show, the genre of magic, uh, which you've only ever really seen in the Doctor Strange corner of the MCU. Um, and it's also going to reveal some connections not only to Nico as an antagonist, but also to Tina. So mother and daughter are going to have a new uh, rival other than themselves to contend with. I think what I tend to like with my bad characters is that there's um, quite a thin line between being good and being bad. And they do cross the line all the time. But I always believe that in their minds, they think they're doing it for good. I really love the idea that we're going to have Morgan with uh, Nico and Tina and that it's three women not fighting over a man. That sounds exciting. They're fighting over a stick. (laughs) That makes a lot more sense to me. I know that we have on this show a lot of, I would say, love triangles going on. Um, What can you tease us about the, the relationship situations in the next season? The thing that I love about this show is when the writers mix it up and stick different people in different situations that you haven't seen them before and watching those characters deal with one another. You know, I think last season it was a lot of the pride doing one thing and the kids in the other. And season one was kids against parents. And I think this season it all just sort of smushes together. The episodes you wish you could see so-and-so talk to so-and-so, you get to actually see that come to life. It's been such a large cast and we've all kind of mixed and matched anyway. So every day you're just like, who? Oh, cool. Great. But every day I I prefer to work with Ryan. That's my favorite. That's so cute. How long did you spend together before you played a married couple? Because it feels like you guys hang out a lot. Well, you know, the one really cool thing, like all jokes aside, like one really cool thing about this show is that um, everybody is so cool. You know, I mean, like, it doesn't really matter who we work with when we get here because we all get along. We all hang out outside of work. We just hung out, like, last weekend. You get to play uh, different versions of your character, right? Being possessed, being evil, being not so evil. How has it been for you to play these different aspects? It's more kind of two characters. It's it's one is Victor, who we've met before. Uh who actually is the hero of the whole show, as far as I'm concerned. I, I beg to differ. Really kidding. Really? You want to go there? Can we go there? Can we go there? We're not going to go there, but I beg to differ. No, no. He's, <laughs> he's giving up his entire moral compass to save humanity. And he's willing to, to, to become the villain of the world and have his grave spit on and kill people if he can save humanity. Way to win me over. 